Hi, Bru Patel. This is following on from the last videos. So today I'd like to talk about how to build your tolerance levels and your stress levels and your patience levels. Because during this trying times, believe me, when you're at home, you will have to go through all of this. I've been used to working and advocating about uh, working from home for over 20 years. In fact, last almost 18, 20 years, I've been uh, kind of like working from home anyway. Uh, whilst there is an office, I try and work from home as well, balance of life, etc. But uh, why hit around and waste time in traffic unless you're traveling around because there's other ways of working as well. Uh, and right now to the, uh, my days in Sun Microsystems, in the uh, late 90s, we always used to say working from home and we used to do it. So we're now doing that now, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus. Let's get down to tolerance and patience level. You know, when two people or families are together day in, day out, everyone looks at people's weaknesses. And what I mean by that is, you know, the smallest thing will ignite a fire. OK, so try and build your patience and resistance and tolerance level up. Don't get so irate and so stressed up about the smallest things. Why didn't you put the toilet seat up or down? Or why didn't you clean this here? And why didn't you wash this? And did you put this in the fridge? And did you pack this properly? Go wash your hands. It's my time to watch the TV. All these are typical uh, ignition points where it can start up uh, arguments. And I'm Sure, you have your own list. I have a very huge list, uh, so I won't go into that. But what I mean is you have to learn to stick together and go through that tolerance level and increase your patience because this could be a long ride. And by the way, I think it's a perfect time to even get closer to everyone in and around you, your partners, families, whoever it is, you know, be in touch and try and be supportive. Look at the strengths rather than the weaknesses. Focus on the strengths. And, you know, uh, with my partner, uh, we do this for actually quite a few years now where we even cook together. So while she's not a good cook, I don't uh, go there and uh, uh, constantly criticize. I teach her, show her, because I see that as investment period that, you know, one day I won't have to sit there and do this. She will be self-sufficient and do it. You know, everyone has their top 10 uh, best dishes they have learned from childhood, you know, mom's cooking, as they say. Um, unfortunately, you know, um, I was not a fan of the, you know, my cultured Gujarati foods. I was very international because I was always traveling and lived on my own for many, many, many years. So I liked a full-blown international cuisine so I can cook all that as a passion another subject we're going to cover here as well so help your partners whether it's the you know male female um, uh, uh, you know uh, how to get over that joint cooking we also have date nights every night so have quality time you know so this will help you in that tolerance level and, you know, uh, we'll build a patience. So, you know, don't say put this in first and don't put this. I like my coffee this way or I like my pasta this way or like my curries this way. I like my noodles this way. You know, teach. Always think of teach because the next time it'll be better, better, better. You will improve. They will improve. The stress levels will be down. The tolerance levels will increase and the relationships will get stronger. Wouldn't you want that? Because in tough times, those are the people you need around you. The second other thing I say is date nights. I mean, you know, have that quality time. You know, we sit down, cook dinner together, have dinner together and watch a video at the end of the night. You know, I mean, I, I have a crazy 15 hour day, but at the end of the night, even if it's 10, 11 o'clock at night, we sit down, popcorn, candlelight, dinner. And it's amazing how great this strategy works because... In these tough times, you need and everybody needs that support. So I could go into a whole lot, but I'm sure you get the gist.